Hey everybody, Melissa here. So if you are taking data and manually putting it into PowerPoint from Excel, or you have charts and every time you make a change, you copy and paste it into PowerPoint, that's going to stop today. I'm going to show you how to create a link between your data in Excel and PowerPoint so that as you make changes in Excel, those changes are also made to your presentation. I can't wait to show you how this works. So let's go ahead and get started. So this is our workbook that contains our sales data for Mel's Fruit Company. Now we have five tabs across the bottom or worksheets. We have one for each quarter of the year, and then we have one that's named sales data. Now this first worksheet called sales data is the one that we're going to use to create the link between Excel and PowerPoint so that when we make changes here in Excel, it's dynamic and those changes are updated in PowerPoint. So the first thing that we want to do is we want to get rid of our filter drop downs. Now the reason we want to do that is twofold. The first one is because it's just going to be a reflection of the data that's populated with the link. So you're not going to be able to use these in PowerPoint. The other thing is it's not going to look so good with these. So I want to go ahead and get rid of them. Now how we're going to do that is we're going to click somewhere within our table go to table design, and we're going to uncheck filter button. And now as you can see, those are gone. So now we want to take the sales data, which this is quarter one sales, and we want to get it over into PowerPoint. So as a reminder, we always want to copy our data from our sales data worksheet. So we're going to go ahead and select all of our data. And we're going to copy it. Now over in PowerPoint, we're going to go home, we're going to go to paste and we're going to tell it to paste special. Now we have the option to paste or paste a link. We want to paste a link because that's going to establish the connection between Excel and PowerPoint. And we're going to tell it Microsoft Excel worksheet object and we're going to tell it OK. And this is our Excel data. So I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger and maybe center it. So one of the formatting changes that we're going to have to do in PowerPoint is as you can see behind this Q1 cells, it's transparent and depending on your background, that's going to be hard to see. So what we're going to do is with it selected, we're going to go to shape format and we're going to do shape fill and we're going to tell it white. Now you can pick whatever color you want, but for this particular background, white is what I'm going to use. Now I've put PowerPoint and Excel side by side so you can see the data. Now let's just say we make a change to Q1 sales and we change this 17425 to 18,000. As you can see, it changed in Excel and it changed in PowerPoint. Now let's say we want to show data for Q2. If we go to Q2 and we select it all and we copy it, take it back to our sales data and paste it. As you can see, our PowerPoint presentation updated to show Q2. Now I'm glad it did this so that I can show you. Sometimes it will and sometimes it won't. When I pasted that, even though filter drop downs aren't showing in Q1 or Q2, it added them back in our sales data. Now if you don't mind the way this looks, you can leave them, but they bug me. So I'm going to go ahead and take them off again. So I'm going to go back to table design. And as you can see, it removed them in Excel, but they're still showing in PowerPoint. And that's okay. If you select it in PowerPoint and right click and tell it to update link, it has removed them. And then the same thing applies for changes. If we change Asia to say 50,000, it's now updated Asia in our PowerPoint presentation. Now let's look at how this works for charts. So when we insert our chart or create it, it doesn't matter if it shows these drop downs or not because they're not going to show. It's just going to show the chart. So I'm going to leave them alone for this. Make sure you have a cell selected somewhere inside your table and go to insert and go over to charts. Now you have different charts that you can use, but I like the clustered column chart. So I'm going to tell it OK. 
Now, one thing that you need to know is your formatting is going to be fairly limited. I mean, there's going to be some changes we can make in PowerPoint, but the majority of the changes that you want, you really need to make in Excel before you take it over to PowerPoint. So for example, I'm going to go ahead and make my chart title larger. So I also want to make some changes to my vertical axis or my value axis. This looks a little crowded to me. So over on our format axis, I'm going to leave my minimum at zero because I may have a location that hasn't sold anything. I'm going to let it do the maximum at 160,000. My major units are 20. I think that makes this a little crowded. So I'm going to make my major units maybe 40. And that to me looks a little bit easier to read. And that makes our minors 8,000, which is fine. I don't want to do anything with tick marks, so we're going to leave those alone. The position of our labels is fine, so I'm going to leave that alone. And then for our number, I'm going to do currency, but I don't think I want the decimal point or the two places after it. So I'm going to take that out. Now for your symbol, you can leave it a dollar or you can do a mountain dollars, but I'm probably just going to leave it the dollar sign. And that's all the changes I'm going to make to that axis. So for the horizontal or category axis, I'm going to do a couple changes here as well. So I'm going to go up to my size and properties and I'm going to go down to custom angle and I'm going to make this maybe negative 40 to 45 is usually where I like to keep it. And I think that is easier to read. So I'm going to leave that there. There's other changes we can make as well, just like with any other chart, but I'm going to leave it the way it is for now. And now we're going to get it over into PowerPoint. And how we're going to do that is we're going to select our chart and we're going to copy it. Now over in PowerPoint, we're going to go back up to paste. And this time we have a couple options in here that we can do. The one that we want to pick is keep source formatting and link data. That way it pulls whatever it can from Excel. And that's what we want it to do. So we're going to select this one. And here is our chart. Now if you notice, it brought our chart over, but it did it like it did the last data we brought over and this is transparent and hard to read. Well, we can change this background just like we did with the other data. If we go to format, we can go to shape fill and we can tell it white and that looks a whole lot better. Now it kept our vertical or value axis formatting. It kept our chart title formatting and it kept our category or horizontal axis formatting. And if you hover over these bars, just like you would in Excel, it tells you what those values are. Now there's some other formatting we can do within PowerPoint. If we go to chart design, we have different charts that we can choose from. But as you notice, as you select them, unless they have a background, you're going to have to change your background back to white. So if you see one in here that you like, feel free to use it, but I'm going to keep our original design. So again, I've put Excel and PowerPoint side by side so you can see what happens when we start updating our data. So let's just say in Q1 sales, we change Asia to $45,000. As you see here, Asia is updated. Now over on our chart, it didn't update Asia, but that's okay. If we go up to chart design and we tell it refresh data, Asia has now been updated. And it's the same thing if we go get our Q2 cells, select it and copy it, and paste it into our sales data tab. Our chart has updated. If we go back to PowerPoint, chart design, refresh data, it is now reflecting Q2 cells. And now we've linked our data from Excel to PowerPoint. So whatever changes you make in Excel will show in PowerPoint. So if we're working in PowerPoint and we see data that needs to be updated, we can't make those changes in PowerPoint and it feed back to Excel. That's a one way link from Excel to PowerPoint. However, if we select our chart and we go to chart design, we can do edit data, edit data in Excel, and it will bring up our Excel document for us to make those changes. Then it will reflect back into our PowerPoint presentation. And that's it for today. 
If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up. If you want to see more content like this in the future, be sure to click that subscribe button before you leave. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.